right, standing behind this seven foot tall column, but that's really just the start of what Julie does. Julie, I know you have party perks over in St. Charles. Yes, but, I uh, do. You know, when we're talking about the balloon story, you just got back from New York City on a huge exhibit. Off the top, what, what was that like for you? It was incredible. So we had 12 hour days. I was there for 10 days straight. I logged in 20,000 steps a day just walking around New York, New York City and being a part of the build. I got to help with the biggest project that I have ever been a part of, which is wonderful. And while I've been doing balloons since 2008, getting together with 100 of the best balloon artists from around the world, we really make magic happen. Like I can't make that by myself. It, you have to have an incredible team and it was just such an amazing experience to be a part of. So some of the, the best talent we have when it comes to balloon art, I think when we talk about your contribution to this giant exhibit, what were you working on? I was in the jungle, so when you saw the 100 foot tree canopy, the 50 foot waterfall and the rocks that were coming down it, I made uh, the beautiful peacock, that was an eight hour project that was hidden amongst all of the large animals in the jungle. And then I also helped with putting together walls and wherever they needed extra hands because my team was the best team and we got done first. And lovely Julie made this beautiful banner here for us today. I know this took you four hours. So yes. when we talk about how long you really have been working on this exhibit, how much effort was put into it? A year's worth of effort and a ton of hands involved. Uh, I would say at least 50 artists have been part of the design team since a year ago. Wow, and I think when you look at these balloons, the size, the structure, the shape, you've got some pretty interesting shapes there. So how are you able to actually make the balloons form these crazy big structures? So there is a form called distortion, and that's when we put balloons inside of balloons and we take the air out of the bigger balloon, and then we are able to create all of these different shapes that are not a normal balloon shape. Uh, speaking of distortion, tell us a little bit about how you got so interested in balloon art. Ah, well, so I started as a street performer. I actually dated a magician and uh, we did a straight jacket escape, 100 foot rope escape, the metamorphosis, the sword box, uh, all of the fun magic that you can do on stage. Um, and over the years, I learned balloons, face painting, caricatures, juggling. And I absolutely fell in love with balloons and balloons became my passion and my superpower. And I am very happy to be able to share it with the people of St. Louis and all around the world, actually. Well, and that's the last thing. You guys have party perks over in St. Charles where people can really get a feel, get their own balloons that you've made for themselves. So tell us about that. How can people kind of get involved and also take part in all the amazing work you do? Yeah, so you can follow me on the socials at Party Perks STL. There are two S's right next to each other. It does look kind of weird. Uh, PartyPerksSTL.com and info at PartyPerksSTL.com. And you can uh, look at the website, look at the galleries, see what I've done in the past. You can send me inspo photos and I would be happy to recreate anything for you. And I would love to help with <laughs> anything balloons. Go visit Julie. As I said, we've already got the party started here. Let's Woo! continue the party over in St. Charles County. For now, I'm Callista Matrician.